What's going on guys, Dan here, and welcome to a video in regards to uh, the launch of the PlayStation 4, okay? Basically, I get this question every day, sorry, I get this question every day, well not, on, well, basically, yeah, every day since the PlayStation 4 came out, <clears throat> and that is, is the PS4 worth it right now, like as in, in this point in time? <clears throat> I apologize, should be clear. Okay, well, there's a few things you have to look at. Uh, now, when I was for, when I first got the PS4, and the biggest thing that I was worried about in the events leading to PS4, including months and weeks and leading up to it, was the fact that um, uh, many of the games that I was really looking forward to, pretty much actually all the games that I was looking forward to, got canceled. Or not canceled. Sorry, I shouldn't say ca uh, canceled. They got delayed. They were delayed till next year, actually, 2014. Now, some of these, these, some a couple of these games included Watch Dogs. I was really excited for that one. You were going to get some exclusive content on the PS4, and you were going to get it before everyone else. As well as um, Drive Club. That's another example, and a really good-looking racing sim. It's different from um, Gran Turismo. Now, the both those games got delayed, which meant I was forced to pick up games I was originally not going to play, but I had to do something. I had to show you guys something, right? And those games are. Let's see if I can grab them here. They're at different ends of the table. Um, Knack and uh, Killzone Shadowfall. Okay, so two games on launch. I knew of them, but you know what? I looked at it. Knack looked kind of dumb to me, and Killzone is just another Killzone game. And to be honest, I didn't really like the last one that much. I mean, I I started following, if you want to put following, Killzone from Killzone 3, so I was already confused as hell when, <laughs> when I picked it up myself, okay? Now, not just that, I mean, I looked at the console by itself, okay? I did, I, I went to see how all the new features were, how the, how the graphics looked, that's, that sort of thing, you know, the streaming cap capabilities is really awesome, it allowed me to stream um, without having to um, get anything crazy, without changing my setup, it allowed me to easily stream simultaneously. It was a win-win. And because, it, with that being said, like normally for streaming, you have to do, set up an extra thing, and you have to record that individually, if you know what I mean. Like, um, if you stream to your computer, you can only either stream or record, not the other way around. You know what I mean? Like, it's you can stream while you record, or you can record while you stream. But unfortunately, your audio track has to be synced up uh, perfectly. Your um, not only that, but you, you have to adjust volumes before you even start. And the biggest problem for commentators with uh, gameplay volume and commentary volume, they're always different depending on what game you play. Sometimes you'll get a game that blasts the living hell out of you. Other other times you get a game that is really, um, really really quiet, and then it all ends up being really weird because. Your commentary is really loud, and that one's not, and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? With PS4, it's as if I can still record normally, like I would for YouTube, and I would still record um, like nothing would change except people could watch me in the progress of recording for YouTube. The quality was a little less, a little not that great because of um, the fact that I'm not a partner on Twitch. People didn't understand. They're like, "What's up with the quality?" And that's why I was wanting to wait till 100,000 subs, because at 100,000 subs, Twitch will get you a partnership on their channel, or on their site, and I'll be able to use the HD qualities for streaming, instead of just the 480p, which I'm stuck with. Because I've been recording in 1080p, because the PS4 and the games in PS4 are actually rendered in that. And to be honest, a lot of the launch titles haven't actually been made to bring out PlayStation 4's full potential. Same with the Xbox One later on. So I'm sure we'll see the best quality of games in four to five months, I'd say, six months from now, you'll see the best quality and because the developers will actually be making the games for that specific console instead of trying to brand or do, go for everything. I know launch titles are different, but they didn't have much to work with, right? So the, make, when you make a console, it, you, kind of, you start from scratch and same with the game developers. They have to work together with the, um, with the maker of the console to try and get the best quality possible. And since they kind of have to test the waters first, it's not as easy as you may think, okay? So that's that. Streaming was a really cool thing, okay? I loved it. Um, I haven't, I, I mean, I've been using it almost the whole week, a whole week of my, of having the PS4, except for the last couple days I've done, not, not done any streaming, I've just recorded it myself. Uh, but, uh, that being said, 
The interface is good. The controller is really good. I love the new controller. It's way more comfortable, especially I mentioned this before. L2 and L2 and R2 are both w much better with the way you press them. You know what I mean? There's more grip to the controller. It feels better in your hand. You know, it's a longer controller. The thumbsticks feel like they have more grip because they are they're indented instead of rounded off with that material. Any, you know, because it's, it's, I can't explain it, but if you felt this controller, you'd agree with me. The buttons are way more easy to press. They're it's an all-around good controller. I love the controller. That's something I do like about it. And, you know, the console itself has a lot of potential. Okay. Stupid most wobbling about. Here's where it falls short. And I've already showed you. The games. Now, this loses it for me, okay? The games. Okay, now, this is what I, I'm not including. I also have picked up uh, Need for Speed Rivals, which is what I've actually been really enjoying. I've been playing this game a lot. Sorry, there's a lot of glare from my computer screen. But Need for Speed Rivals, what I've been playing on PS4, great game, I love it, okay? But there's a problem with it. It doesn't really qualify in the PS4 launch because the game was available, is available for all consoles. So it's available for PS4, Xbox One when it releases this, this Friday, as well as um, current gen, like PS3 and Xbox 360. So it doesn't fall as to into the PS4 category. It's a great game, yes. But there's, the gameplay is identical to every other console. The only thing different is, um, for example, let's just say one thing I noticed. Uh, the light here, this is the light that shows you uh, what controller is plugged into. Certain games it shows you how your health is. Like, for example, Killzone, it'll be green when you're full health and then go or yellow, orange, red as you start to get hurt, etc., etc. Sometimes you're hiding behind a rock in the screen or something doesn't make it apparent what... Uh, like how hurt you are, so what I'll do is just quickly look at the color of my fingers or just flip it like this and I'll be like, okay, I'm still yellow so I shouldn't go out there yet or I'm not as hurt as I thought I It actually is helpful, but, and, and as well, sorry, in regards to Need for Speed Rivals, the only time it colors up really is it'll be blue when you're playing as a cop and it'll be red when you're playing as a racer. That's one thing. That's the only thing I've noticed, okay? But, um, which leads me to the games again. Uh, so therefore, the, really the only two games you had, like, Con like retail games I'm referring to, like physical copies that you had, were Knack and Killzone. I'm not kidding. All the other games were um, available on cross-platform. There were no ex other exclusives besides those. I don't count Resogun because that's just a, little, just a little arcade game. Same thing with, uh, um, what was the name of it? Contrast it was called. It was a puzzle game exclusive to the PlayStation 4, but even that it was exclusive. It was also on PS3. And I think it was on Steam as well. I could be wrong. But, the games suck. I'm not kidding you. Like, I, Killzone was Killzone, and it was frustrating. It was dumb. Like, I thought the storyline was stupid. I did beat it. The graphic, it does look good. It's a good-looking game, but again, it's trying to show you the PlayStation 4. I thought the gameplay was rather shitty, but that's me. That's just me personally. I never really liked Killzone, so that's that. And uh, Knack, I wish I never bought this damn game. It's a piece of crap. It's terrible. I mean, I could see where they were going, and it could have been a good game, but things like health systems and spawn locations, save points, checkpoints are terrible. You die, it doesn't matter. For example, when, you, when you're fighting, when you're playing as Knack, right, obviously, uh, you, as your character gets bigger and bigger, you'd expect his health to go up, which it does. Yet the same enemies, I've noticed, deliver the same amount of damage no matter how big he is. Like, I've had multiple one-hit kills being massive by the same guy who killed me 100%, the little guy. Their health system is fucked up. Like, it's, I hate this game. It is so dumb. I was ready to kill myself, and I only made it through, I think, two and a half chapters, three chapters, uh, I'm thinking. I think out of a total of 11 or something like that. I can't remember. But avoid this game. Horrible game. I don't think anybody would like it. It scored pretty bad on most reviews. An average of 4 to 5.9 was the average out of 10, okay? And Killzone, like I said, it fares better. But I just got tired of dying. I know I'm not the best gamer in the world, but hell, on I just... I just didn't see much substance in it. It was just kind of a generic FPS to me. So what does that leave you? The need for Speed Rivals, and that which isn't, which is a cross-platform game. So this doesn't affect the PlayStation 4's launch. I don't believe because I'm pretty much done these two games. I stopped doing that because I don't want to play that game anymore. And Killzone, I'm done. So that leaves me with the Need for Speed Rivals. So basically, I, I've been playing one game, one game that I've enjoyed which is also available on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So I didn't have to go buy a new console to play this game. I could have enjoyed it without 
buying this new $400 console. So the biggest, the big question here is, is the PlayStation 4 a good buy right now? The answer is no. I think you guys should hold off. I don't blame the console whatsoever. The console is great. I think it's going in a great direction. I like what they've done with it. But the games are trash. And there's nothing else coming out for PS4 this year. So you might as well wait until it goes on sale and buy it. And then when there's a good game coming, when there's a good game out, you can buy it then. Because right now you've got all you need with the PlayStation 3. So there's no need to upgrade to a PS4 yet. Because it's got the same Blu-ray drive, same exact everything. What bothered me the most about NAC, for example, was the install, okay? They require 40 gigs, and the game is shit. What do you need 40 gigs for? I'm gonna uninstall that game. I'm not, I'm not gonna play it again, I'm gonna trade it in. I didn't like it. A lot of people agreed with me. They said the game, like for those of the people who watched me in the stream, they said it was like a boring looking game, and from what they could see, it like I, I wasn't actually just bitching about the game. You know how I sometimes do that? It actually was the game this time. I was doing what I could, and I was getting through it, but it wasn't fun. It was a, it was really, really terrible gameplay, if you ask me. And for those of the people on the stream, I, they felt the pain that I was feeling. So, that's that. But, you know what? It is what it is. I was, here's the thing. If Watch Dogs, even just Watch Dogs released before anything else, even though that was a cross-platform, it had exclusive content to the PS4. And we would have got it first. And that would have meant we would have had the best looking version of the game with the most content earliest, so with the earliest release time on a great console. That would have made it a good release. Like I said, Need for Speed Rivals, it, it it's a good game and I love it, but it doesn't define the console because it doesn't do anything gameplay wise to make it exclusive, you know what I mean? To make it worth getting. Watch Dogs. The content in it, the, the the appearance of it, made you want to get the new console and play it on the new console and not bother with the current. You know what I mean? So the fact that they delayed, delayed Watch Dogs till next year is kind of a failure because it's still coming out for current gen consoles, which is in PS3 and Xbox 360. No one's going to buy it because by then, well, you know what, I shouldn't jump the gun. Not everyone's still going to buy it, but it would make more sense to buy the PS4 for that game. That's just my opinion. And you're going to have other games coming out earlier than that for the PS4 as well. So, for those of you who are wondering, you got money in your pocket, and you've been, you've been like, you know, we'll wait, see reception, see what happens, hold off, okay? And if, you, if you're caught between which console you want to get, PS4, Xbox One, I, I'll, get, I'll let you know, because I'll be getting that this Friday when it releases, okay? And I'm going to try it out. I, I know this may sound crazy, but I think the Xbox One's, la one's launch, uh, yeah, that does make sense, is going to beat the PS4s. As crazy as that sounds, I'm not saying one console is better than the other, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying in terms of enjoyment and quality, I may actually enjoy Xbox One, what their releases I should say, over PS4s, just because of what they gave us is kind of dumb. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Xbox One is in the same boat releasing the games I've already played, all a bunch of games from weeks and months ago that I've already played onto the current consoles, okay? so. It's not, it's in the same thing, it's doing the same problem, which means it only has two or three games that are exclusive to the console, okay? And I won't even be doing them all. Like, people want me to do Forza, I don't know if I'll be doing Forza or not, because it's an expensive ordeal, these two consoles with all these games and equipment. This is a very expensive time for me, and I've spent a lot of money on these two consoles with the games and everything, so Forza still remains to be seen. But, if you're looking for an answer, I don't think you should buy the PS4 yet, officially, don't buy it yet. Wait a bit, wait until some games come out, even if the price doesn't go down. Save your money for something else. You got Christmas coming up. I'm sure you guys have to have Christmas gifts. If you're wondering, like, oh, Jimmy, you know, my son Jimmy, he wants the PS4. Well, tell him, Dan says the PS4 isn't worth it yet, and the time will come for you to get it, and where it'll be fun. Okay, that's just my perspective. Maybe from a kid's perspective, he may like Knack, but he'll struggle through Knack. You know what I mean? I'll bet you kids, although kids probably are better than me at a lot of video games, so maybe you won't, <laughs> because they grow up with this kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm just saying. That's my perspective. I think you should wait. Uh, maybe at least wait till the Xbox One if you're still caught. We'll see what's better. But like I said, console-wise, I know this is silly. Console-wise, I think the PS4 is going to be better. We'll find out when the Xbox One comes out. I'll save my 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 decision fully until I've got the PS or sorry the Xbox One and I've played it and I'm at the same point as I am right now. Same, basically a week from now, I'll probably have the same amount of content done. I've played the Xbox One a lot, and I'll give you another recap for the Xbox One and let you know. And I'll give you my personal thoughts as well. I'll make a video maybe which one you should get, the pros and cons for both. 
and which is a better value, etc., etc. Okay. So thanks guys for watching. Hope this helped you out. Make a decision in regards to the PlayStation 4 or not. Hope you're enjoying the PS4 gameplay because it is good. I gotta say, the gameplay is new and it's good. I hope you're liking it. But uh, I got way more coming up. It's gonna be a busy time. I told you until there's a dead time in December. Might as well let you know now. I'm probably gonna do a Return to series in December. I'm actually gonna take my time with this new next gen console stuff. That way it bleeds into December, and I'll also have more things in December, maybe, like I said, return to Assassin's Creed 4 or something like that I might do. Okay? So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and favorite as well. Let me know your thoughts on the PS4 if you got it. If you don't have it, what are you expecting? Do you think it's going to be worth it yourself? I want to hear your thoughts. Hit the comments below. All right? Thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. And we'll see you for some more HD gameplay. Later.